Hey guys, we're back. Okay, so I, I I did a quick amount of searching there to see if I could figure out a way to adjust the uh, volume and cutscenes. And short of just straight up turning off the music in the game, there is no way to do so. Uh, the volumes are always played at 100%, or the cutscenes are always played at 100% volume. So, that's kind of shit. I apologize now for that, but not much I can do about it either. Alright, where are we going? Asgard. Okay, so this is the new area we're going. A city with many ancient ruins. The windmills and the stone dais are, a, are symbols of the city. Uh, this is the wind town we went to in the first game. There was like an altar at the top where uh, there was a fake god uh, or a uh, wind spirit at, and uh, rain had to... Uh... Here we go, we're on chapter two already. Troubled heart. Uh, this is some wind. Come on, take it like a man! That's easy to say. It may be difficult to believe, but Lady Marta is depending on you. So please, try to act like a man in front of her. I'm not sure if I can. What's keeping you two? Come on, we need to ask if anyone's seen Lloyd. Let's hurry! Wherever Lloyd is, that's where the Centurion's cores are. So let's find the mayor and ask if Lloyd's come by, okay? Right. So, I think I have a solution for the volume issue. I can't employ it today. I'll have to wait till Monday, but... Wow, this wind is really something. Right now, all sorts of strange weather patterns are happening around the world. It's all because of the joining of the worlds two years ago. But everything will work out if the Centurion's cores are hatched, right? That should be true in theory. Wait, what do you mean, theory? Things are not always as simple as they appear. Huh? <sighs> there you go. Welcome to Asgard, though now is not a great time to visit. All right. Asgard has always been a windy city, but we've never experienced winds this powerful before. What we got here? I have spent years searching for the ingredients of legend. Without the perfect ingredients, I have no hope of besting the Wonder Chef. To stand a chance against the Wonder Chef, I need something truly legendary. But what? Raw ingredients? Water? Spices? Welcome to Gale. We have all the fresh ingredients you're looking for. Can I bag something up for you? All right. The green lantern on the wall there stands out. Haha, <laughs> green lantern. I wonder if Wonder Chef is even in this game. We haven't run into him yet. Just... Of course, I may have just missed him. When the wind gets strong, I can hear a faint voice, like someone screaming from really far away. But no one believes me. This is the Shrine of the Right. It's the old... In the olden days, the maiden who performed the ceremony on the stone dais would stay here overnight. It is generally known as the Mural Cavern. What the hell is going on in these murals? If I could decipher the wisdom of the ancients, perhaps it would make our lives easier. At least that's what I've been telling myself for the last two years. I don't have a job, so my life isn't easy. Cats are cute. Oh. Okay. It's not expecting that. Alright. Uh, iron sword. Crescent shaped saber. Okay, well, we want one of those. Iron spinner. A spinner with a simple design. Iron plate. A breastplate made of iron. A feather light cloak. A bandana made of cloth. A bandana made of leather. 
Red ribbon. Actually, I already got her a blue ribbon, so I'm not gonna buy one of those. Gauntlets. Iron gauntlets. Mittens. Feather mittens. Gauntlets made of iron. Gloves made by synthesizing chirpy feathers. Much more sturdy and light than normal feathers. Alright, that's... Give ourselves a new sword. A new armor. Wait, didn't I buy the other mittens? To go for the iron spinner. Actually, looks like the one she's using in cutscenes. If we find an item shop, we'll probably be able to find uh, I like that the store still looks the same as it did in the first game, though. Oh, there's cats. Meow, you are you lost? Do you want to learn my vast knowledge? What do you want to know? Meow, that's a secret. Meow, the wind is blowing dirt in my eyes. How long will this go on? Okay, so that's how we increase our friendship with the animals, is by feeding them stuff. Apparently the animal did not like the rice balls. I can't count the number of times I've had to fix this door in the last six months. What can we do to stop these gusts? The mayor's house is on the highest, uh, is the highest house on the hill up ahead. The wind has been driving the tourists away, and it's gotten awfully lonely here. Can I help you with anything, by the way? An ice cave? That's... A cave blessed by the summit spirit of ice increases resistance to wind by 20%. Venting sealed arts? Okay. One of the powerful monster grimoires learned the healing art first aid. That could be good, but if I pick up one of those. There. There's something romantic about the Summon Spirit of Wind. Whenever I look at these murals, I feel that the Summon Spirit of Wind is about to say something to me. <coughs> My wife is obsessed with the summon spirit of wind. Whenever she has a free moment, she comes to look at the murals. But lately, the wind in this town has become unbearable. You never know when it's going to send something flying right at you. Even the sails of the great windmill are being blown away by the wind. That windmill was this town's symbol. I wish we could fix it, but with the wind still blowing. The runes are so boring. Sometimes that silver-haired woman gets angry with me when I say that, but it's true. I'm so bored. I'm so bored that I'm gonna die of boredom. And why are you still here, kid? My wife and I came to visit a hotel that holds special memories for us. But the wind here is unbelievable. I've gotta stay strong for her. But if I'm blown around by these winds much longer, I'm gonna freak out. Don't tell her I said that. Alright, we got a bunch of new stuff, so it's safe to save our game, I think.
So far, there's been nothing I can, like, investigate or click on in the world, which is a little sad. I came all this way to see the ruins, but the gate to the stone dais is sealed. Now what am I supposed to do? The rest of the town is in an awful shape. Everything's closed, and there's nothing else to see. I can't go in these rooms. I can go this one, at least. There haven't been many guests lately, so the lady of the house keeps following us around and bother us all day. It's really irritating. I know it's rude for me to complain, but the manage <laughs> about the management to the customers. Sorry about that. No, like you can't investigate or click on anything. It's not very exciting. This town seems kind of desolate. This is weird. The last time I came here with Daddy, it wasn't like this at all. Your dad? Now that you mention it, where's your family? M well... Watch out! Uh, sorry. It's fine. Uh, are you... Mosquito. It's all right. You have an interesting creature with you. Emil, what are you doing? We're terribly sorry. Are you all right? Marta, this man, he... This town's changed, too. Huh? Excuse me, are you originally from here? A long time ago. Back then, this city wasn't even called Asgard. Sorry, this is my hometown. It brings back memories of my friends from back then. It seems they got the better of me. Forgive me. Is that Ewan? That guy. He noticed Tenebrae. Are you sure? I've never seen anyone who could do that. I wonder who he is. Seems like it's you on. I wonder who that guy was. He said some strange things. What a weirdo. I mean, it's been a long time since this town changed its name to Asgard. Right. No human alive today could have been around then. Could he be an elf? Maybe that's how he noticed Tenebrae. Yeah, but even elves and half-elves only live about a thousand years tops. He must have been teasing us. Jerk. He may actually be older than his youthful appearance would indicate. Oh, you mean like you, Tenebrae? Yeah, maybe that's it. We Centurions are ageless. I will not be treated like a doddering old man. <laughs> All right, so that's one thing I really like about this game. Tenebrae, his character, I remember really liking him before. The mayor, you're at the wrong place. The mayor has us further into town. This is an inn, or at least it used to be. The tourists stopped coming when the guests started. We had to close down. The question is, what happened to the Summoned Spirit of Wind, then? The news is so strong lately that I can't even go outside to play. I used to be able to play outside every day. I wish I could play outside more. I see, like, they, they probably just came up with various excuses so they didn't have to model the inside of houses again. Woof. Woof, woof. I never imagined that windmills would be destroyed by wind! That's just how strong the gusts have become. It's so sad. I can't believe that our town's famous windmills are gone. If I go out in the open, I might get swept away by the wind, so I'm staying right here. Watch out for wild gusts. You're getting interesting. Who are you? Can I help you with something? You looking for Lloyd? I haven't seen him here in quite a while. You can't go upstairs? Okay. Can't interact with anything in the world, which... 
never fun. A lot of people have been abandoning their homes. The mayor and Lenar are the only ones left here. Yeah, I see that. Lenar's house is the one on the right. The mayor's house is up, up the stairs. And you can't go into any of these houses. Too bad. Seems like nobody's home. I just don't get it. Huh? What do you mean? The wind isn't strong enough. There's no way a wind this weak could damage buildings like this. Hmm. Well, maybe some days the wind is stronger. Go find some shelter somewhere. There's a cave like area not far from here known as the Mural Cavern. If I may suggest, perhaps we should head there to avoid the wind. I'm flying, take Sounds it. good. Let's go. Wait! It's safer if we hold hands. Look at the heart there. The power of the wind! <laughs> Your hands are so warm, Emil. Uh, you think so? Ah, uh, two young hearts all a flutter. How sweet. A flutter? Who says stuff like that anymore? I do. You got a problem with that? <laughs> You're funny, Tenebrae. Way to kill the moment, you two. Oh, that kid's gone now. He's not outside, guys. He was picked up and sucked into that weird black hole. The sky butthole, if you will. I'm sorry, but this cave is already filled up with village residents. Please go to a different one. Oh, okay. Can you please head to the upper mural cavern instead? We're all out of space in here. There's another mural cavern at the top of the stairs. They should have room for you. I think we'll be safe in here. Yeah. What's the matter? Your face is beet red. Your hand. Oh, do I have to let it go? I, uh... <laughs> um, I wonder why the wind got so strong all of a sudden. I believe it's linked to Lord Ratatosk's sleep. Yeah, I know that's the root of the problem. I meant, why did the wind get so strong just now? Perhaps it changes, in a manner similar to you. I know. I'm just a weak nobody without the help of Nidoratatosk. That's not true! You're strong, kind, and cool! Really? Really! You're my prince, Emil! I wonder if she really believes all that. I hate to interrupt this fascinating discussion, but the wind seems to have died down a bit. It did? Yes, but now I hear voices. There seems to be some sort of commotion. Let's go and have a look. It'll also give us a chance to ask about Lloyd. Right. Oh, just kidding. Get it over with. Emil obtained the title Prince of My Dreams.
No one can stop the dreams of a girl. What will he do now? Who? A top officer in the vanguard. We'd better hide. Oh, I'm so disappointed you still haven't found Coletti. Pooh, Alice is so tired. Ma'am. If you'd just be a little more patient. <laughs> I just said that I'm tired. Now, now, you should know better than to... You let Mart Mart slip through our fingers and failed so spectacularly in Lewin. Must I do everything myself? Hockey, are you listening to me? I... I apologize. Hurry and find that pesky Coletti. I'll be at the mayor's house. Ta-ta! I'll search the city's perimeter. <laughs> Will you do a thorough sweep of the city? The chosen of regeneration is a woman with blonde hair. Bring in anyone that fits that description. And do it quickly, or Lady Alice will have all of our heads. Now go! For the liberation of Silverrun! So... That girl is a member of the Vanguard? That's Alice, the captain of the Vanguard's combat unit. She's a complete sadist. Be careful around her. But be careful? But why? What's that supposed to mean? Be careful. Well, we won't be able to go to the mayor's house now. All right. Then let's go look for the Chosen, Colette. Oh, yeah. The Chosen and Lloyd traveled together, right? Mm-hmm. If we can't find Lloyd, we might be able to ask about him. And maybe... Maybe what? Mm. Well, let's just look for the Chosen. They said that the Chosen is a woman with blonde hair. Let's search the city for her. However, please remember to keep your distance from the Vanguard and stay out of their sight at all times. Right. I agree. There's no point in getting caught up with them. Section time. I'm kidding, kind of. Alice looks like a harmless girl, but she makes a powerful impression. Maybe scary is a better word. Watch yourself around her. She's a sadist. Actually, a super sadist. What's a sadist? The term sadist is related to the concept of sadism. It is the deriving of pleasure by causing pain in others, physically or mentally. Okay. How exactly am I supposed to be careful around her? Don't go near her. Don't speak to her. Don't respond if she speaks to you and swear to love only me. Then you'll be fine. What? What are you talking about? Lady Marta's search for love is among the saddest I've seen. Huh? It's the saddest versus the sadist. Ouch. <laughs> Alright, Colette, are you in here? She's not in here. Do you say anything about Colette? Why does Alice call Hawk Hockey? It's like she was making fun of him or something. Actually, Alice only comes up with those little nicknames for people she likes. So the fact that Alice calls you Mart Mart must mean she likes you a lot. No, it's the opposite for girls. That nickname means I'm on her bad list. This is confusing. I hate to change the subject, but do I really come across like an old man? Huh? Wow, you've been worrying about that this whole time? Oh, I love that number.
Oh shit. The Chosen is a woman with blonde hair. Where can she be? She may be the Chosen, but she is still only human. Since I have not met her, sensing her will prove difficult. I wonder what kind of person she is. Have you met her before? I've never met the Chosen of Regeneration. And to tell you the truth, I really don't want to meet her now. Oh, sorry I asked. Why are you apologizing? Um, because Marta's scaring me. Is she in the weapon shop? She's not in the weapon shop. The murderers had to push their way in, even though I told them there's no room. So that's the vanguard I've been hearing about? They're a pretty twisted bunch. Can I help you with anything, by the way? Eating hamburgers. Definitely save our game now, just in case. Time to take a break, guys. Don't go anywhere. We got more Tales of Symphonia for you.